A sulfa drug is to be given to a 130-pound patient at the rate of 2.5 milligrams per pound of body weight. How many milliliters are necessary if the concentration of the drug is 200 milligrams per milliliter? For this kind of question, start by looking for what it's asking you for. It wants to know how many milliliters. So we always want to know what units the answer should have, and in this case, it should be milliliters. So then we look through the other information in the problem for anywhere that has milliliters. The only other place this problem has milliliters is in the concentration, 200 milligrams per milliliter. So we'll start with that, but we need milliliters to be in the numerator. So instead of writing 200 milligrams over milliliters, we can flip it over. This is an equivalency, so it's okay to turn this kind of fraction upside down. So we have milliliters over 200 milligrams. Well, great. Now we have an answer with milliliters in the numerator. Except we have milligrams in the denominator, and we don't want milligrams in our answer. So now we look through the information given to see if we find milligrams somewhere that we can use to cancel out. And here we have milligrams, 2.5 milligrams per pound of body weight. So let's multiply by that to make the milligrams cancel out. So over two times 2.5 milligrams over pounds. So great, the milligrams have canceled out. But now we've got pounds. And we don't want our answer to have pounds in it. We want our answer to just be milliliters. So again, we look for something we can use to cancel out the pounds. Do we have any pounds in the information that's given to us? Yes, we have 130 pounds as the weight of the patient. So let's multiply by 130 pounds. And since there isn't anything else attached to that 130 pounds, that's just over 1. So now our pounds canceled out. And now we have only milliliters left, and they're in the numerator, which is where they need to be. So now we just take care of the numbers. 2.5 times 130 divided by 200 is 1.625 milliliters.